Hello again. Today we're going to look at two more examples of integration by u substitution. Our first example is going to involve trigonometric functions. So what we're going to do is going to have a go at integrating the sine of x multiplied by the cosine of x multiply that by 1 plus the cosine of x to the power 4 times dx. Okay, so let's do one of our boxes again. We, this time we're going to let u equal 1 plus cosine of x. Okay, so therefore we get dx by du is equal to 1 over minus sine x, right? Okay, so what we do now is we have the integral of sine x, cosine x, multiplied by 1 plus the cosine of x to the power 4, and then we multiply this by 1 over minus sine x. Okay, du. Right, so we can see here that the signs cancel out to give us minus 1. Now we can take that minus 1 and take it outside of the integral. So we get minus 1 multiplied by the integral of cosine x multiplied by our 1 plus cosine x to the power of 4 du. Right, okay, so u is 1 plus cosine x, so therefore what is cosine x in terms of u? Well it's going to be u minus 1, right? So we get minus, I won't, I'll just forget about the 1, just put minus. So cosine x is simply u minus 1, then we multiply this by u to the 4, du. Okay, now we expand and we get the minus, the negative integral of u to the 5 minus u to the 4, du. Okay, so we now to, we, we integrate obviously because we've got it in terms of u, so when we integrate we're going to get u to the 6 divided by 6 minus u to the 5 divided by 5 plus our constant of integration, c. So 6 and 5 share a common denominator of 30. So, put over common denominator, we get minus 5u to the 6 minus 6u to the 5, all divided by 30. Okay, now if I was you, I would get rid of the negative sign in front of this expression. And to do that, we just switch these two terms around. So we get this is equal to 6u to the 5 minus 5u to the 6 divided by 30 plus c. Okay, nice and easy. So we've got it in terms of u, and of course, you know what to do now. We need to get it in terms of x. But before we do that, we need to factor the top. So, very quickly, we get u to the 5 times 6 minus 5u divided by 30 plus c. Okay? So, now we've done that we can put our x values back in. So, u to the 5, that's going to be 1 plus the cosine of x to the power 5, all divided by 30. Okay. And now we have our 6 minus 5u. Okay, so 6 minus 5 of 1 plus cosine x. I've just about squeezed in there. Uh, yeah, there'll be brackets there anyway. 
Okay, so you basically put your x values in for u. And we can simplify that. Overall, we're going to get our 1 plus cosine x. Uh, then we multiply this by this expression here. That becomes 1 minus 5 cosine of x. Yeah? And then we all divide that by 30. And we add our constant of integration. Okay, so there is the integral of sine x cosine x, 1 plus cosine x to the power of 4. Okay, so that's our trigonometric types. Now, we're going to have a look at integrals that are definite. Definite integrals, meaning we have boundaries. For instance, let's integrate from 1 to 2 of the function x multiplied by 2x plus 1. Power three. So a nice easy integral there. Okay, so as normal, we pick our u. So let u equal. So what do you think u equals? Well, u is going to equal 2x plus 1. Okay, so therefore dx by du is going to equal a half. Excellent. Now, we need to change the limits with respect to u. This is with respect to x, but we want them in u. Right, so what we have to do is when x is 1, which we have here, what is u? So we basically plug in x in this equation here. So u is equal to 2 times 1 plus 1, which is 3. So when x is 1, u is 3. Okay. Now what about when x is 2? When x is 2, we do 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 will equal 5. So u is 5. Okay. So this is going to equal the integral from 3 to 5. I've got it in terms of u now. Now we need to multiply this by x. x, if we rearrange the equation, is equal to u minus 1 divided by 2. Okay? So u minus 1 divided by 2. Then we multiply this by u to the third. And we multiply this by our half, like we got earlier, du. Okay, so that's the hardest bits over. It's nice and easy from here. So, we can pull out a quarter. 2 times 2 is 4. We get a quarter outside the integral. 3 to 5 of... we we'll simply expand this. We're going to get u to the third times u minus 1 du. Okay? Right, so let's carry on. We're going to get a quarter still. Now we can expand this even further. We get u to the fourth minus u to the third du. Now we're set for integration. Okay, so we're going to get a quarter outside and we're going to get. If we integrate u to the 4, we get u to the 5 divided by 5 minus u to the 4 divided by 4 from the limits 3 to 5. Okay, and we add our constant of integration as well. Okay, now we need to substitute our 5 for our 3 to evaluate the integral. Okay, and we should be able to do that. What we get is we get a quarter out the side still, we multiply that by our u to the 5 divided by 5 minus u to the 4 divided by 4, but we substitute our 5 in. 
So we get 5 to the power of 5 divided by 5 minus 5 to the power of 4 divided by 4. And then we take away our 3 when we substitute for u. So we're going to get 3 to the 5 divided by 5 minus 3 to the 4 divided by 4. Okay, alright, so now we, all we do is get our calculator and we find that the integral of x times 2x plus 1 to the power of 3 between the limits 1 and 2 will give you 1101 divided by 10, which is of course 1.1. So if this was in centimetres from 1 centimetre to 2 centimetre then the area under that curve is 110.1 centimetres squared. Alright? So there you go. In the next video I'll look at the last two examples of integration by u substitution where I'll look at limits involving trigonometric functions. See you in that video.